Inez Garcia. Inez Garcia had never been so excited in her life. Ever since she'd got back to Seville from Paris two months ago, she had talked to Francois Monet on the telephone almost every day. It's a good thing he usually called her because otherwise her father might have said something to her about the phone bill. Two weeks ago, Francois surprised her with some unbelievable news. A week earlier, he had mentioned to his uncle, Pierre Monet, that he was looking for a way to bring Inez to live in Paris. The next day, Pierre called him to say that he had asked the chairman of Peugeot if they might need a lawyer expert in Spanish labor law. At first, the man had said no, but when Pierre explained the circumstances and told him that his nephew was lovesick, the benevolent side of the chairman came out and he assured Pierre that Inez could come to work in Peugeot in the legal department. When Francois conveyed the message to Inez, she jumped for joy. She was tired of defending boring labor cases in Seville and was dying to be with Francois. He told her to prepare her CV and send it with a letter to the chairman of Peugeot, thanking him for his fine gesture and saying something about herself. He gave her the address. The next morning, Inez called a friend of hers who had grown up in France and asked if she could help her write a letter and a CV in French. Two days later, she sent them to Peugeot. Exactly seven days later, she received a nice letter from the head of human resources offering her an initial one-year contract to work as an assistant to the chief legal counsel in Peugeot. He told her that she should be settled in Paris and ready to work within 30 days. For Inez, it was a dream come true. Her father thought it was wonderful. Her mother insisted, though, that she wanted to meet this Francois Monet fellow before letting her daughter go off to Paris. When Inez told him this, Francois immediately reserved a ticket on Iberia to fly Paris-Madrid-Seville for the following weekend.